Hey guys, welcome back. It is your favorite Gimp with a Limp, and I am here with uh, something I'm actually kind of thankful to you guys for. A uh, little bit ago, I had put up a video trying to help promote this company that I had stumbled across. It's the War Games Delivered one, and I like what they were doing, right? I like the fact that they had hit the ground running, that they were trying everything they could to help get their name out. And I get that, you know, they're newer, they want to do everything they can to grasp people's attention. So they're they're reaching out to everyone and running a whole lot of promotions, which is the thing that I stumbled across and I really liked. So I put up a video promoting them. And like I said, they hadn't sent me anything. They hadn't talked to me. I'd never spoke to them before. I just liked what they were doing. Well, evidently some of you guys went and shopped with them and they saw it, saw the video. They were happy with that. So they ended up sending me actually one of their... Um, branded kits so i love the the painting stuff i already love army painter and this has a whole bunch of different stuff in it uh, basing gluing uh, brushes looks like a sculpting tool a bunch of different paints and stuff so i'm gonna pop it down to the table take a look at it real quick and uh, probably do some comparisons because uh, this is you can see their actual brand so it's army painter stuff but it's their like branded version of it so let's take a look and see what all comes in here all right, so we're down here at the table and I pulled everything out, laid it all out for you guys. We're gonna go over all the, the components that are in here. Now, just as an FYI, I gotta give it to them. They have really fast shipping because this actually got to me all of this a few days ago. And what I did is I've actually been using some of it because I don't really think I can review it unless I've tried it. So I wanted to make sure that everything was good before I talked about it. So I've used some of these components, which I'll show you guys here in just a sec. One little tidbit of advice I wanted to give you before we started was when it comes to mixing balls, I set my little pack of them over here. Uh, you're gonna need them. If you do hobby painting at all, you definitely gotta have them. Uh, something I've taken to doing now is when I get a set of mixing balls, now they'll last you forever. But something you wanna try first is getting them, putting in uh, in some water, put some salt in that water, and leave it for, your, for a few days and see how they react. Now, the reason I'm saying all that is that I did get a set way back when, it was when I first got my uh, first set of actual nice miniature hobby set paints and I got some mixing balls to put them in, didn't test them, put them right in, and you guys can see there that that reacted quite badly. I had a whole lot of paints that got ruined. And actually, I'm very happy about that. One of them was one of my favorites, Barbarian Flesh. I use that one a lot, and it's actually in here. So that's actually really nice to get a replacement for that. But you want to try it first. That way you don't end up with paints that get ruined because they have rust in them. Now these balls were supposed to be stainless steel, no rust, all the other good stuff, and unfortunately they weren't. That was a load of crap and they rusted out over time. Uh, the paints still work for the most part, but you are going to start noticing some slight discoloration and it'll get bad and grimy over time, so you will end up having to replace the ones that get ruined with bad balls. Because come on, no one likes a bad ball. All right, so when it comes to the set here, what they sent me, I think of this as a, a good starting set. This is for someone who has nothing and they are just starting out, right? Because it has everything that you need to really get started. You've got super glue, you've got basing glue, you've got a little palette here, you've got some brushes to get you started with, you've got clippers, you've got some uh, basing terrain that you, or uh, dirt, gravel stuff that you can use on your bases. You've got the little tufts of grass that you can use to, you know, accentuate to your bases or your terrain pieces. And then a selection of paints that are good enough to get you started. I would not recommend this to someone who already has stuff, right? So if you've already got a good chunk of these uh, pieces and you're looking for a set to get, you would probably be better off getting a set of paints or a terrain set, something like that, rather than a starting set. But if you are just starting out and you don't have anything, then yes, this would be a good set to go with because it has everything. Actually, I take that back. It doesn't have everything. The one thing it doesn't have is a hobby knife. Everything else is included in the set. So looking left to right, 
comes with a couple of these sets of tufts and you'll have a couple of different colors in there. You guys notice that some of them are missing and I gotta say they work pretty well. I've got some basing terrain that I've been working on to so focus for me. A little sandbag entrenchment here. So I threw on a couple of pieces of each one. Now the this piece isn't finished yet. I'm still poking around at it. But I threw some of the tufts on just so you guys could see how they would look there. I threw probably both. I think I like the darker one better, but uh, both of them will work perfectly fine. This is actually the first time I've tried these, uh, these tufts. I really like these. They're sticky right off the bat, but you will need a little bit of the glue. So touching on the glue, now that we're talking about it, comes with the Army Painter uh, basing glue. Now all of this is Army Painter stuff. Now I've never used this before, so I wanted to try it out compared to what I normally use. And what I normally use is the Mod Podge. Okay, so you can get this at any craft store or stuff like that. And I've been using this stuff for a long time. You guys can actually see, looking in there, I have used a buttload of this crap uh, over the years. I used their Army Painter stuff to attach the grass and the tufts and these old pieces here. And the difference that I found between the Army Painter and the Mod Podge was minimal. Now, if I had to choose between the two, I think the Army Painter's better. The consistency's just a little bit better and easier to work with than the Mod Podge, but you can always water down the Mod Podge. The way I would look at it when it comes to this type of stuff is I like having it on hand now. I would still use Mod Podge when it comes to, or something similar, you know, this type, the easy craft stuff, when it comes to your general run of the mill work. But if you're doing more of a diorama piece or something that's higher end, you want it to look nice, use this. Like uh, this is your higher end basing glue is the, the way I would think of it. If I have an important piece that I'm working on, I'll use this just to ensure I get the best results, nice clear results. I don't have globs of glue or anything like that left. If it's just run the mill basing and I'm not all that worried about it, I'll stick with the Mod Podge. Going on down, still talking about the glue. This is just generic super glue. It's got the right consistency of the, the super glue that uh, you would normally use, the CA type glue. That's the thick version the army painter is so it works the same as the purple of the bob smiths all right honestly i couldn't tell a difference between the two so when it really comes to that i would get whichever one you can find at a better, uh, better deal if army painter is cheaper go with that bob smiths is cheaper go with that you know whichever one they're both relatively identical at least in my results with them when it comes to the clippers they're good they're clippers there's not a whole lot i gotta say Honestly, I was already using Army Painter clippers anyway, so it's nice to have an extra set. I think these are a little bit sharper because I have dulled these out over the years when I've been having to deal with damn pewter miniatures. God, I hate metal miniatures <laughs> more than anything. It's a personal thing. But uh, yeah, I've definitely worn these out over time, so getting a replacement is not uh, bad. So yeah, clippers, standard. They work really well. Now this was the key thing, and honestly, I'm kicking myself for not doing that video sooner now because I did not have one of these previously, which is a file that you can use for picking, for filing off the little rough edges. And I had actually had some minis recently and I was trying to use a little hobby knife to kind of scrape those extra uh, seam lines, right? From when they've been molded off. And that's what this piece is for. It really got to me that I did not get this in time to use it with those miniatures because I've got a few mold lines that I missed, but now I've already painted them. So I can't go back and get those little pieces. Now I'm the only one that's really gonna notice it, but it still would have been nice to, to have had this then. Really like this, that's a nice inclusion because a lot of people I don't think think about getting a little file just so they can take those little lines off. Palette, palette's basic, nothing uh, to sweat over it. Is nice inclusion to have in there though. When it comes to the paint brushes, you get a set of three. One is a dry brush, it's even listed down as a dry brush. Where is it, say it on there, yep. Hobby dry brush and nice soft tip for it to use for the dry brushing. And the other two, which sizes are these? 
All right, it says one is a starter brush, but it doesn't say what the other size is. The starter brush is the bigger one, which is pretty much my standard size that I use for most work. I would use a smaller one for like detail work, but uh, a good couple uh, brushes to start with. Honestly, the only other thing I think would be needed besides these two for someone starting out would be a flat brush for long, broad strokes. So these two will get you started. Dry brush will hit the dry brushing, but you do need something that's flat and or even just a, a bigger round brush, something that you can hit large pieces so you're not trying to hit a whole miniature with just a uh, starter brush. You can do it, but it'll take you a while. Now, when it comes to the paints, the one thing that I don't like about these is the fact that they're the 12 mil instead of 17 mil. I would have liked to have seen them do the 17 mil instead, that way the, the size is consistent, but I think they did this, it, honestly, if I'm guessing, uh, I think they did it for a cost saving benefit, right? I think they wanted to keep the set costs down so they could say they included X amount of paints and then all the accoutrement that we just talked about. And to do so, they had to reduce the size of the paints a little bit. I think they wanted to have a, a starter set that they could say includes everything you know, all your paints, your tools, and your basing and grass pieces and all the other stuff at X price. I would have liked to have seen them bump it up maybe like five bucks or so or whatever difference. So you could do the 17 mil instead. It's not a huge deal at the end of the day, but it is a little bit of a nuisance. When it comes to the paints though, you get pretty much everything that you would need for starting out. You get a shade, you get a metallic, you got a red, yellow, green, blue, uh, brown, the leather brown is the one that I used constantly. The barbarian flesh I use constantly. Skeleton bone I use constantly. And of course, black and white. Never buy black and white ever on their own. I'm sure everyone knows. That's the one thing that drives me nuts when it comes to like paint sets. They always want to include a black and white. And it's like, just don't. Everyone has black and white. They have gobs of it. Just, just stop. Have something else in there. Have an off-white or a dark gray. You know, something like that would be better. And it's got a uh, a wash in here too. Actually, it was not a wash, a um, a brush on primer. I was a little surprised by that, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. Different consistency, but this is a primer. So with this, you could fully paint a mini. You've got the primer paints and you could mix them to get on a range of colors, wash, and then all the brushes that you need to do it. So it really is one-stop shopping when it comes with the uh, the primer there. Again, the only thing is I just would have loved to have seen them do it with the this full 17 mil size instead of the 12 mil. We're only talking five mil difference. They're, they're right there at the cusp of the full size. But again, I think they did that as a cost saving measure. Now, I did go and I compared the prices of this starter set compared to other starter sets, and they're right on point with it. Uh, this one costs about $60, and for everything that you're getting, that's not a bad price. You're getting, what is that, 12 paints, 12 uh, selection of paints and shades and metals and primers, basically 12 paints, super glue, basing glue, palette, brushes, uh, file, a set of clippers, basing gravel, two things of the tufts. So yeah, the only thing that you don't have in here is uh, the mixing balls and a hobby knife. Everything else you can cover any minis that you got right out of the box. Like I said though, I don't think this is for someone who already has stuff, who's already been doing you know, miniature work there for a while. You really should already have a good chunk of these items. So the kit's not gonna be for you. This for someone who's just starting out, yeah, good one for them to go for. Otherwise, I would either spend a few dollars more and get one of the bigger kits that has a large selection of paints or one of the sets they have that has the, the whole bunch of tools in it or the sets that have a whole bunch of basing materials in it. There's lots of different sets. I mean, there's gobs of them out there. Just pick whatever uh, one works for you. And to talk about them again, just here for a sec, uh, one of the things that I'm really liking about these guys is like I said, they, they hit the ground running. And I know some people are not going to believe me. I know it, but I'm, I'm telling you guys the truth on it, that I had not 
talked to them. I hadn't spoke to them. I hadn't done anything to them before I made that video. And after they, after I made the video, they already had my information because I'd actually ordered from them before. And they went ahead and just sent this to me as a way of saying, thanks. We appreciate you helping to promote the company. And like I said in the, the previous video, for them to actually text me to say, hey, did you get those free paints? Did you uh, did those come in for you? That to me was going above and beyond. It really shows me that they are going out of the way to make sure that their name is thought of as positively as possible. That way they can really grow their business. I, I can appreciate that. For people who are willing to do that, I have no problem taking and, and shilling it up and and pushing them because I like what they're doing so far. I'd like to see them grow. I like all the promotions that they've got going on right now. They even forgave me for picking on them about sending out so many damn emails. <laughs> but like I said about that, I'd rather know. I mean, I would hate for them to do some big giveaway and I not know about it and miss it. At least uh, if they're sending out the emails, I know and I've got a chance to enter in and, and potentially win something or get a promotion or whatever they got going on. So, like I said, definitely check them out. Uh, make sure you uh, check out their mailing list and Instagram, I would push, because they're doing so many promotions, so many giveaways, all the other stuff they're doing right now. I know they've got a promotion going right now where it, the code is three freebies if you buy 10 paints. So if you buy 10 of the bottles, you can get three more for free. That's just the current one that they have going. I'm sure they're going to do others. Uh, but like I said, no company can sustain that level of promotion forever, you know. So jump in while the getting's good and they're, you know, doing all this cool stuff and helping to get their name out there. It really behooves you to, you know, pay attention. You might end up coming out on top of it. In a way, I kind of think of it like I do Compass Games. They do their town hall each week. And they understand the sheer amount of promotion. I've, I've been watching their town halls for a few years now. And the amount of people that have jumped into them uh, watching them. And it's because every couple of weeks they give away a game. Now, that doesn't cost them a huge amount in, uh, you know, actual cost. But it's getting their name out there. And those town halls have just exploded with people jumping on and a lot of them, yeah, they, they want to win the free game. But on top of that, they're hearing about all the other new releases and it has really boosted their sales. So Compass is already doing what War Games Delivered is doing, right? They're, they're getting their name out there. They're doing stuff that people are interested. Oh yeah, three free paints, boom. So that gets people over to their website. And while they're at the website, then they start poking around and looking at other stuff. And I've always thought it's a great idea to reach out and talk to reviewers because getting in close with the people who are giving you basically free promotion and already have a following, the, there's no loss. There's no downside to that, right? All right, so I'll stop playing chill, but I definitely want to put out another good word and a thank you. I do really appreciate them sending me this stuff, and I am going to be using the hell out of it, especially that barbarian flesh since mine got ruined, so I really do appreciate that. All right, you guys uh, stay tuned. I got some more cool stuff coming up, and make sure you check out Instagram because Gimpy Gamer is now on Instagram. I finally got a page up and running, and I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff and previews uh, there as well. All right, you guys take care. I'll catch you in the next one.